Hi everyone, um, yeah, I'm Stevie Ring. I've just joined Woolworths, I've been here for a couple of months now. I have been in the food industry for many years, working in FMCG. Oh, sorry. And um, previous to that, I was working in public health for many years as well. So I've kind of done it from both sides. So I'm really grateful for the opportunity to discuss um, what Woolworths has been doing to um, create a healthier Australia. Um, I'll try and not repeat everything that Vanessa said. <laughs> um, oh, I'll just click forward. So I think you all know Woolworths very well, but we have been around since 1924 and we started off on a really simple mission and that mission was a handy place where good things are cheap. And Yes, the retail space has changed greatly since then. Consumers now have a different way of shopping. It's at their fingertips, whether it's online, whether they go into store. There's lots of different ways to shop. But what hasn't changed is our absolute focus on the, our key priorities, which are our customers and our innovation. And that has continued throughout to be at the key of our, uh, sorry, the heart of our business. So our vision is and will continue to be a, the supermarket that inspires a healthier Australia. As the fresh food people, um, we are passionate about championing the health and well-being of our customers and our people and our communities. And you'll see here that this is our strategy um, and our people and our customers are at the heart of that. And we do talk to our customers all the time about what they want. And we listen through um, Customer Talkback, which is an initiative that we run really regularly in stores, where we run focus groups with our customers. And we ask them, how can we improve what we provide to you? What can we, how can we make the store experience better? How can we help you? And we get lots of information there. Some of the examples of like easy measures that we've changed coming from those initiatives are um, we now supply more smaller trolleys because people are shopping that way. We have created new areas in store, the likes of the fish bag and bake experience. So if you've seen that, it's a great way of getting more people to eat more fish in a more convenient way. And we also hear really loud from consumers that they want to eat healthier, but what they want is us to make that job easier for them, make it easier, make it more rewarding, and they're really calling out for us to help them in that journey. So I want to take you through some of the initiatives that we've been working on in the last year. Um, big one you've probably heard about is our teaming up with Jamie Oliver and it's not just a oh we've teamed up with Jamie Oliver this is great it's a really huge integral part of our business that we're now working with him on and we're working together to inspire a healthy Australia I think Jamie's quote here sums it up really nicely um, together our aim is to inspire Aussies to cook more fresh foods from scratch and have fun with it all safe in the knowledge that they're feeding themselves and their families with quality, affordable and local ingredients that they can trust. So it's really great having Jamie on side. He's a great ambassador for fresh food living and creating recipes. And we've already started work with them. You'll have seen the Christmas campaign, the advertising, and you might have seen the back to school um, brochure around healthy lunch boxes or recipes and lots of great tips for parents to get really creative in the kitchen and help their children make healthier food choices and they're just a, that's just the start of what's going to come in the in coming months so watch this space also wanted to talk to you about the um, healthy lunch box next initiative I'm sure you've probably heard of it already that was a pilot that rolled out last year across 100 um, stores nationwide and it the real aim was to help shoppers identify healthier snack shops snack options more quickly and more conveniently for them and we teamed up with Nutrition Australia on this and they created our nutritious, um, nutritious snack criteria and that was developed by their dietitians, their nutritionists and it was aligned to the dietary guidelines. And I suppose I wanted to talk around our learnings from that because we're now at, we've done the pilot and we've evaluated it. There's been some really, really great insights from that pilot. It has been deemed an overall success. Customers love us helping them make healthier choices. They're going to continue to eat snack foods, so they want to know what better options are available to them. We did have some big learnings for us, though, especially as a nutrition team as well, um, and working with the sales and the marketing team because it was their initiative. So I think number one, I'm sure you could have all have told me this, the term lunchbox is very much linked to children 
and therefore there was a real disconnect with the name Healthy Lunchbox and what was actually served in this sector because it was deemed to be more adult based foods. So going forward this sector is around, it's, it's for everyone, it's not just about children, it's for the busy mum, it's for the professional couple, it's for the elderly customer, it's for the student. So we want a name that really brings to light what we're standing for and helping people make healthier choices. So we will be looking for a new name as we go forward. I think probably everyone in this room contacted either my, my team or the Nutrition Australia team to say what is the Nutrition Australia partnership all about and what is the criteria? Tell us more. So we've heard that loud and um, we will be working on that. Now that we've got to the end of the pilot, Nutrition Australia have worked on finalising the criteria and they will be publicising that criteria up on their website and therefore completely transparent as to what, what criteria products need to pass in order to be in this section. So I think that will really help with um, any transparency and any questions going forward. And I think in terms of evaluating how we can really make a difference, the sales and the marketing team really saw this as a great success. But from a nutrition perspective and marketing campaigns, we also do feel that we can continue to help consumers be more aware of this sector in terms of more in-store marketing, in terms of um, greater awareness, greater education on how to make a healthier choice, how these foods can fit in with your overall diet. So a lot more education through all of our means, whether that's online, our in-store magazine, or in the store and training up our store managers on advice and questions. Something new for you is we, um, we want to upweigh our knowledge Internally, we have a massive uh, interest in nutrition. Of course, as a nutrition team, we have an interest in nutrition, but our senior management are really, really hot in this, and it's great to see. So together, we've set up the Healthier Task Force, and I'm sure you recognize Joanna and Everett Manny and Melinda and Alicia that are all on the panel. And we have them coming in on a regular basis to inform and challenge our thinking and approach on helping, he helping people make healthier choices. So some of the areas that we're talking with them is all of our new initiatives that support healthier choices. We're getting their feedback on and their thoughts on how we can improve them and make them better. We're all of our customer engagement and our communications going forward, continuing to talk on them and also our employee education campaigns. So it's really great that we have these experts coming in to talk to us, but I'm really even more excited that we have our managing director, our commercial director, our marketing manager, our general manager for marketing and our general manager for produce and quality all on this panel, because that really shows how invested Woolworths is in making healthier commitments work for the Australian population. And having all these experts in the room can really help drive a lot of the conversations that we've had today into their ear, because I think it's all fine and dandy to see what we need to do to make differences. And I think like Vanessa said, I'm well aware of all the things that we can do to make the um, changes to the business, but getting these people to be aware of the changes, that's when we're gonna actually make big moves. So it's an exciting project and I'm glad that to be working on it. So in terms of talk through some of our initiatives, there is, of course, as always, massive opportunities for growth. And I see it really down to the area of communication. A lot of, um, healthcare, a lot of healthcare professionals, as well as a lot of customers, have asked us what our commitments are to nutrition. And we do have commitments to nutrition. We are fully signed up to the food and health dialogue um, categories and renovations around there. And we, we are working on reformulations to reduce sodium, saturated fat, added sugars, and look at portion sizes across our, all our products. We're also working to eliminate artificial colors and flavors across our brands where that's possible. And we are looking to improve consumer messaging on pack, in store and online. And we're also waiting to see what comes out of the discussions with the front of pack labeling to see what, what our call is on that. But rest assured it will be what's right for the customer. So we're really aware that people want more information on all our renovations and over the coming months we will be sharing much much more detail about what we've done to date and what we're going to continue to do. Another thing that in, just in the last couple of weeks I was actually quite impressed at the media pickup on our employee education campaign around um, maybe some of you saw it that we did a pilot last year and we helped a thousand of our store managers 
benefit from healthy living. So we offered them the chance of biomarker bioage availability and gave them access to health and activity programme for the year. And we've tracked their progress and we're now at the sort of year summary of that. And we've released a little bit of the information into the media of some of the massive changes we've seen in this area. Um, but I keep on getting more and more questions about well, what other findings have you had and what else are you going to do in this area? So I'll definitely come back to you um, on that and I'm happy to share more details. But do rest assured that employee health is a really big focus for Woolworths and we will continue to invest in the All Good programme because that's something that's obviously really important for all of us. And yeah, I think that's me got to the end of my talk. I think I really do um, love all the feedback from healthcare professionals, everyone in the room. So if you do have any ideas, let me know because I'll take them into the team and I've got a team inside that are really keen senior management level to hear about what we can do to make our products better. Thank you. Thank you.